is sandbanks. Now, it used to be just an ordinary little sand dune on the Dorset coast. Now, it's one of the most expensive places to live in the entire world. It's become Britain's Monte Carlo. But how on earth has that happened? And perhaps more intriguingly, why? Over the course of this series, I'm going to lift the lid on the sandbanks phenomenon. Why is it awash with fast cars and fancy yachts and bursting at the seams with multi-million pound homes? I'm going to get down and dirty with the new money flooding into town. The big brash property developers and the local estate agents who are milking it for every drop. So there's 400 million 400 pounds million. in that room. Mm. How much are you hoping to get your grasping little hands on, Tom? 350. <laughs> <laughs> Prices for the waterfront properties are spiralling. What is the biggest offer so far that you've been made for this property? I just wouldn't sell it. No way would I. What can you do with 10 million? 15 million, <laughs> all right? I mean, you've got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> but the old guard are up in arms. We have these developers who are almost continuously knocking down uh, very attractive houses to put up these ugly blocks of flats. And, of course, we're also going to be uh, having big problems with sewerage. So it could get a bit whiffy. That could well be the least of their problems. Increasing sea levels are going to destroy it. 